That's right. AT&T internet. Or any internet. Gateway. Routers. Modems. Uh, you went to the store. You bought you this Asus 29,000 whatever. Can read up to 1.5 gigabytes a second or 2,500 gigabytes a second. Maximum coverage of 9,000 square feet. Great. Awesome. Does your modem, your provider, your service, AT&T, um, Spectrum, NextLink, uh, HughesNet, Mom, Paul's radio, Wi-Fi, internet service. If you have the internet fiber, um, which is what I have here, I have a thousand meg service. So my modem's capacity is 80 devices. I could probably run all 80 devices on that service and be fine. Uh, no buffering, no nothing, as long as my network service is clean, which it is. Let's say I don't have, you know, a thousand and I have only 18 megabytes a second. Most of your cell phone devices are going to require about six to maybe 10 megabytes a second to run. So let's say it's simple math of it's using six megabytes a second to run because you always watch your videos on HD, which is about 720. Uh, 720p or let's say you go to 1080i uh, the resolution required or the service the megabyte a second required for 720 is about five megabytes a second when you go to 1080i you go almost to 10 megabytes a second now let's say you go to 1080p high bit rate you're now looking at almost 12 megabytes a second to run that stuff or 14 uh what's that uh, 2, 2, 2k 1440 and then, oh, I want to watch the movie in 25K. Uh, Amazon, I got Amazon Prime, and I downloaded Avengers. So I want to watch it in 4K. Well, you need to have about 25 megabytes a second to run it. And if you're on an 18 meg profile, and you got a kid gaming, you, you, your spouse doing work, you're not going to be able to watch that show. Or if you are able to watch it because you prioritize your service to it, they're going to start buffering and glitching. So those routers that you buy from the store and it says handle this much more to help you out with this they're not lying to you it will but don't get misleaded mistaken by advertisement um most places do have an 18 meg service or 24 or a 50 meg profile um and also it's that is your network speed so what i've seen with at&t techs is let's say that the house gets 50 by 10 so 50 download 10 upload i hear them say threshold or like uh, your capacity your max capacity is 80 megs to the house but you're at 50. so then you're from what it is is if you're getting 80 to the house your profile is 50 that means you have an 80 total bandwidth um so you could possibly run about eight devices on there at 10 megabytes a second to run to push to 80 and it's going to start buffering a couple devices are going to start buffering uh, just limit your devices at your house to the profile that your service is giving you. Uh, if your house is 5,000 square foot, this gateway is not going to cover 5,000 feet. Um, 1,000 to 1,200 uh, 1, to 1, square foot apartments or homes is what this is going to cover. If you place it square in the middle, you might get the whole coverage to the house, but you're still going to have some buffering or some low spots. So don't just get the little extenders that you plug into a while that says... Um, ATT underscore EXT, get you a mesh system. Either stick with AT&T's or go full third party like uh, Eero, Orbi, or even Google Mesh. Those are pretty good. Those are give you plenty of cover to the house. Uh, I hope this kind of explains a few things because I'll get that question a lot. It's like, hey, is my service going to cover everything? What do you have? Um, they said the fast I can get is 25 by 5. How many devices you got? Well, I got four kids, they're all gamers. Like, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Uh, see if any other providers, I mean, sometimes I see that with AT&T or the other companies. And like if AT&T has 25 by five, uh, say Spectrum is out in the area where I'm at right now, uh, they have you know, 500. Like, hey man, if you want the faster speeds, go to Spectrum, they're gonna give you 500. Um, it is on a splitter, so you're gonna be split, you're gonna be sharing it. But you get a whole lot more Wi-Fi even if there's four people on it because my math is horrible, but five divided by uh, is 125. So you still should get plenty of uh, internet to the house. Now, not everybody's going to be on the internet either until the evening. But um, 
just keep, keep, uh, just remember you moved into the house. Um, go to att.com if you want to buy it. If you want to have AT&T service, uh, type in your addresses that you and your spouse are looking for to see the area. This is how I got this place, which has 1,000. Um, every house I've moved into in the past eight years has always had AT&T because I've looked specifically for AT&T service. Um, I want it, for me, I want at least 100 megabytes a second. Um, so I type in the address and it says, okay, cool. Your fastest is 100 by 20. So I know that that is a copper network. If it says uh, up to a thousand, I know that's a fiber network. If I see 18 megabytes a second, I start moving the house to the side. It's like, no, we're not buying that home because it's not going to work. Um, the world runs on the internet. So, um, AT&T, I like AT&T. It's, it's what I use.